What's up and happy mental push up Monday, baby? We here. If this is your first time joining, my name is Andrea Fitz Fitzgerald. I'm an educator and entrepreneur and also a person really obsessed with personal growth and development because I've done a lot of challenging things. I've written a book, I've ran a marathon, I started a business, but the most challenging yet rewarding work that I've ever done has been working with myself, my mindset, changing my patterns, some of those things. But it's also very rewarding. So it's my hope on this channel with you to share some of the different lessons that I have along the journey and hopefully it can help you too. And I want you to share with me as well. This is just definitely not a one-sided conversation. We're all in this together. So hence the mental push-up, right? We're not getting a physical workout each day, but each Monday we will get a mental push-up, as I say, a mental workout to set us on our week and hopefully um, set us up towards what it is that we are trying to accomplish in our life. So let's get right into it. The title of today's mental push-up is, it's not chess, it's checkers. Make a move and take action. I know that was a lot, but make a move and take action. I don't know, it just, it just felt cool to say that. I don't know, I said it like a preacher or something. Anyway, so in 2017, I did this Ignite Talk at, Achieve the, at this Achieve the Core conference. And I walked away from that thing and I said, listen y'all, I want to be a motivational speaker and for about two years I really didn't really take any steps to it now what I did do I researched I read books I listened to podcasts but I didn't actually take the steps because I told myself I said oh my gosh I need to know everything I'm not ready for this I need to learn and learn and learn but I wasn't actually doing the thing right like I didn't think that I was equipped enough to get on the stage to do the thing I want to be a speaker right so in 2019, I joined this group coaching program and I also had an individual coach. And each week we only had two objectives. It, after we talked, it was like, did you do the thing that we talked about last week? And these are your next steps. That was it. It was all about actions. And from that, from working with that coaching in that program, I launched my business. I wrote my book. I did all these things because I had that accountability. And I was just taking steps. It wasn't perfect, I messed it up, I did all kinds of things, but I was making a move towards it and that led me to better results. And so I wanna share with you four tips to help you do that because sometimes what can happen, you may have something for yourself. You're saying right now, you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna do this thing. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to do it for so long. But we get in our head and we convince ourselves that, oh, it has to be perfect, it has to look this way. And those things actually are just not true. Just jump out there, take the move. It doesn't always feel comfortable, but you are totally equipped for it. Number one, let go of the idea that it has to be perfect. A lot of times we can waste precious time because we're in our heads. We're saying it has to be a certain way. Like, think about that. I sat on the idea of being a speaker for two years because I had convinced myself that I was not ready. I had been ready. It was just a matter of getting out there and do it. So I want you to think about for yourself, where are you maybe telling yourself it has to be perfect? So I wanna challenge you here, it's progress, not perfection. It's not gonna be perfect, let that go. And make that move. Number two, not a ton, just one. As you think about that one thing that you want to accomplish and take action on, Sometimes it can feel overwhelming to think about the whole, like the whole idea of doing the thing. Like, oh my gosh, can I really see myself on a stage in front of these people? Or whatever that thing is for you. Like when I first started, I would look at Eric Thomas, Les Brown, some of the people who are the best to do it. And I would say, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do that. But what I did learn is that the one thing that I needed to do, and I've learned this probably like seven months ago, I've been very consistent with this, is. I, I need, people need to know who I am. You know, um, I remember Nicole Walters um, in her culture group, she used to say, I'm the best thing you never heard about, right? So um, it wasn't that, it, it wasn't, it, it wasn't that maybe people don't want to pay me money. I didn't want to pay me money. They just didn't know who I was. So I said, the one thing that I'm going to commit to it, I said, I'm going to email a certain amount of people every single week. I'm going to follow up and follow up and follow up and follow up so that they know who I am. That's my one thing that I'm consistent on. If I don't do anything in my business 
I'm gonna hunt and I'm going to find business. That's what I'm gonna commit to. So figure out what that thing is for you. Maybe it's not the whole thing, but what is that one for three? Whether it's the right or the wrong move, going back to number one around perfection, you are going to learn something. Y'all see these t-shirts and see I got this on for a reason, right? I got this on for a reason because it's not perfect. Like uh, this is this is one of the first ones that I ordered uh, from the company I've been working with. But Lord knows my my dope black and athletic t-shirts we been we been through all kind of things. Like when I first started, I said I'm gonna I'm gonna start this t-shirt brand, right? And so I realized I said I cannot do print on demand. I can't do that because uh, yeah, I just the logistics thing is not my thing. Like I know that. And then I said okay, well I'm just gonna order a bulk order order too many now I think I have one item left so I've sold most of it now but then I was like okay like I said I don't like logistics so I'm gonna have to find something that's automated so I figured that out then I got the designs I didn't like that so I was like I figured out that it had to be a certain size so all these different things but I went through a process if I wouldn't have made a move I wouldn't have learned all that and so you're gonna learn what works and what doesn't you're gonna learn what you like and what you don't like since I've dived in I've realized I said I, you know, I'll do consulting. I'll do a little bit of that. But my jam is speaking. I love presenting. That's why I love my job now. I love that I get to facilitate professional learning. That's my jam. That's my sweet spot. I know that. So, but if I wouldn't have taken action, I wouldn't have known that. Number four, when you take action, you become more confident. And when I first wrote my book, I had so much self-doubt, y'all. I said, oh my gosh, I said, I don't have all the educational jargon that I'm supposed to have. No one's going to buy my book. Why would they buy my book? Right? And so because of that narrative, I didn't take any action on it. I just, you know, I wrote it. I said that people buy it, but I wasn't like maximizing this, this resource, right? And so recently, I've started facilitating sessions around Talking about the reset, how to reset your class after break. And I've probably given that session about three times. And I'm gonna give it in two weeks. I'm gonna get the same session in two weeks. So if you got a new teacher, holla at me, reset. How am I to reset the class? So, um, but I feel very confident about this product. And you know, it was it's something, it was a teacher that told me in this session, he said, I was getting in my car and I was going home and I was gonna apply for some jobs until I heard you talk. That was it. I was, I was going to get some other jobs there, but now I'm in there. But it was just confirmation. Now, I started to know this because I kept doing kept doing the thing. I started to believe. I was like, okay, all right. That's just aff- that's confirming what I already know to myself. So I feel very confident about the one I'm going to do in two weeks because I've done it a few times. And so when I'm talking to schools or when I'm reaching out, I'm like, yes, I know this is a good product. I know this is going to help you. Keep your teachers. I know this is going to provide them with practical things they can do, but I wouldn't have known that if I wouldn't take an action on it. And so by you making the move, you're going to start to know and believe that you are totally equipped for this. Number five, this is just an added bonus. I'm going to throw this in. Now, when you don't take action, you're being selfish. And you may say, Fitz, how am I being selfish? This is affecting nobody but me. But it is, though, because each one of us has a divine destiny, a calling something that we were sent here to do every single one of us and when we are living in our gift that inspires another person to live more in their gift you know I said in a meeting a few weeks ago I said it's like little wildfires when we are living in our gift we light somebody else up now they are more motivated to live in their gift and they're going to impact another person so it's like exponential growth out here in these streets so whatever that thing is it may feel scared for you but you are, you, your gift is gonna help somebody else. So yes, it is being selfish. Here's your action step for this week. Number one, identify what's that big goal? What's that one thing that you like? Oh my gosh, I've been meaning to do this. And identify one small action step that you can take towards that. And when are you gonna do it? And then the third thing I want you to do, just share that in the comments. Now, the other thing I want y'all to do, share, subscribe, like, all of that. If this added some value and you think you know someone who this would uh, help out, please share with them. And get out there this week. Do those mental push-ups. Be bold, be brave, and most importantly, friends, be you. And I'm out.